Good morning, children. Today we are dealing with the second part of the poem, My Mother at 66. If you don't watch the first part, you should go and watch and come back. The second part of the poem starts when the poet once reached at the Cochin airport and after the security check, she wants to see of her mother. Let us go to the poem. Here begins the second phase of the poem. Let me read the lines. But after the airport security check, standing a few yards away, I looked again at her, wan, pale, as a late winter's moon, and felt that old familiar ache, my childhood fear. The literal meaning of the poem is very simple to understand. Just after the airport security check, the poet stands a few yards away from her mother. She looks again at her. She notices the weak face. The face is similar like, is similar to a late winter's moon. And immediately the poet felt the old familiar ache, her childhood fear. Let us move into the poem. Moment is Moment is one of the sensations the poem shares with the reader. In moment, we can measure the distance. Here at the airport, even though the poet stands a few yards away, the poet considers it as, at least emotionally, a lunar distance, not just a few yards. That's why the poet compares her mother's face with lunar. The very first word of the poem indicates this moment that is driving driving from my mother's home to Cochin last Friday morning. There are three kinds of moments described in the poem. One is the physical moment, the journey. And second is the emotional moment in the poet's mind. And third is the moment of the mother to old age. These are the three sensational moments happened in the poem, My Mother at the Sixties. You must understand it. Here the poet is at the peak of her emotional journey because she realizes the approaching end of her mother. That's why she compares her mother's face with late winter's moon. A brilliant imagery is used in this part of the poem as a late winter's moon. What is as late winter's moon here? The mother's face. It is wan, pale as a late winter's moon. Here, a poetic device of simile is used here. Because the mother's face is compared with van pale late winter's moon. In every sense of the poem, a brilliant imagery is used here. The mother's face is compared with van pale late winter's moon. There are several similarities between the two the late winter's moon and the mother's face. Both are on the last phase of their life. It is quite apt to describe the round pale face of the aged mother with that of the moon. Let us look into the after effect of this comparison. On seeing her mother's pale face, weak face, 
the poet begins to feel the old familiar ache and her childhood fear even though the poet does not specifically state what it actually is but a reader can safely infer its meaning it is the pain the poet would have felt in her childhood when her mother went away from her it is the fear of separation and this separation creates a fear and pain in the poet's mind the same childhood fear the same childhood pain once again she felt when she was standing at the cochin airport look at the last lines of the poem but all i said was see you soon amma all i did was smile and smile and smile the poet despite being deeply thoughtful she promises her mother that they will meet soon and what she did there was smile and smile and smile a true reader can sense a false promise from the poet here when she said see you soon amma here all she can do is to part with the mother with the hope of meeting again that she did here this parting is made more touching by the fact that even though she hopes to meet her mother again she fears she might not that is the touching parting between the mother and the daughter here she hopes to meet again at the same time she fears she might not the fact of the situation is that the speaker can neither stop herself from going away from her mother nor can she stop her mother from going away from her forever these two things they can't stop neither she can't stop her going away from her mother nor she can't stop her mother's death so the repeated smile here is a you say false mask that the poet wears she really hides her feeling and shows in front of her mother a masked face that is the repetition of the smile indicates here we can also see with the repetition of the word smile and smile and smile a poetic device that is nothing but a repetition the poetic device of a repetition is used here the last line smile and smile and smile that is the brave front she shows she displays in front of her mother to give assurance of their meeting this brave front is the false mask she wears to give a little confidence not to the mother but to her inner self that she can meet her mother alive 
when she comes back. <laughs>